Hello, it's Stuart from Elite Optical here. Today we're going to take a look at the new high spec Thunder TQ50 from Hike Micro. So, this is a truly flexible product and it can be used in one of three ways. So, as we have it here, we've attached the Picatinny rail, that can go straight onto your rifle, and that has 2.6 times optical mag built in through this lens system. You can also quickly detach this rail and use this as a handheld monocular. So here's the Thunder in its front clip-on capacity. So we've attached a different lens, which is available separately, or you can buy it as a complete kit. That removes all the magnification and makes it easy for a scope to focus into. We've also then got a collar, which is attached onto our optical day scope. Although that's got a quick release lever, we recommend that you just fix this on and leave it. That attaches, the units line up with a camera style red dots. You turn, it clicks into place, and you turn this with a reverse thread and it locks everything into place. So there's two separate systems for zeroing and the lens is recognized by the unit so it automatically changes the software that you see and the image on the screen depending on which lens system you're using and which configuration you're going to want to use the thermal imp. This model sits at the top of Hike Micro's Thermal Thunder Rifle Scope series. So this can be used either as a rifle scope as we have it here with the Picatinny rail. You can also detach this lens and attach it to a conventional rifle scope as a front clip-on, or you can detach the rail using this lens system and just use it as a handheld monocular. So this has got a 50 mil focal length, which is giving you 2.6 magnification, and that's onto a 640 by 512 pixel sensor. So that's Hike's biggest resolution sensor, that gives you a really high resolution image, which when paired to Hike's sub 35 net D, gives you a really high level of sensitivity. You've also got an F 1.0 lens system, so all of the available thermal information is hitting the sensor. You've then got that sub 35 net D sensor, which is able to extract all the detail, especially paired with its high resolution capacity with the magnification, and you're gonna get a really clear image through through this unit in whichever configuration you're using it. So let's just take a run through the anatomy of the unit and what all the buttons do. So starting at the front, we've obviously got our lens and back from that, that's the focus ring. So that's setting the focus for the main unit to what you see on the screen. Back from that, we've got the power button. Pretty self-explanatory what that does. We've got a camera button. So a short press, you get a picture. A long press, you start recording. There's 16 gigabytes of internal memory on here, so that can save all your things straight, all the pictures and videos straight into the unit. Back from that, we've got the menu button, so that's in the center of the D-pad, that's how you control all of your features, where you access the zero menu. It's all quite straightforward to, uh, to access and set up. Across from that, we've got the M button, that just switches between the different color profiles. So within here, you've got four to choose from, white hot, black hot, Fusion or Red Hot. We've also got over this side, there's a manual shutter release, so you can hear that just actuates and cleans the shutter. If you're using this for hunting and you want to stay as quiet as possible, you might want to switch off the automatic shutter. You can then activate it with that button. Coming back here, this adjusts your magnification. So as we've touched on, you've got 2.6 times magnification from the optical system. You can also use one to eight times digital magnification to start stretching that image and pull some of the detail up. Back from that then, we've got the lens, which as we've looked at is removable, and you've got diopter adjustment at the very rear of that. So that's just making sure that all the menu information is clear inside the viewfinder. On the back of the unit, we've got a USB-C connection port. We've also got the battery compartment. This unit accepts CR123As, which are the compact batteries. They are available in rechargeable versions. We also supply some to get you started, just disposable ones. Give you a battery life for around four hours, but obviously it's easy to swap those out if you're stuck in the field. The unit's also got Wi-Fi built in, so it's really easy to use the T-Vision app, supplied free of charge. You can connect to the unit. You can then stream live back to your phone. So if you're out with a friend and they want to watch what you're shooting, that's really easy. You can also control the unit through there, so capture images, video, you can adjust your brightness and contrast settings. Really easy to configure and use the unit remotely with the app. So the unit automatically recognizes which lens is attached. 
So at the moment we've got the rifle scope lens attached, so as you look inside you would see the zeroing menus, you've got your reticle options, you can set the colour, so there's five reticle styles and you've got a choice of three colours, white, red and green, so it's really easy to set that up, zero and customise in this configuration. If you swap into the clip-on lens, you get a different set of options which include are accessed through pressing these two buttons, the zoom button and the camera button. You can then just adjust the screen, zero it, and it, you know, it's then set up and configured into your, to match your optical scope. You've also got the option of picture in picture, which can be displayed in the top right, center, or left of your display. So now we're gonna take a look at some footage from this uh, Tiki 50 in action. So we started off in white hot there, we've just flicked into black hot. You can quite clearly see the fox now jumping out in fusion. And I think we're gonna skip into red hot next. There it is. And you can see we've got a fox here. It's around 120 yards away. We're just gonna mag up a little bit. So we're now on two times. Just jump back into white hot. And you can see there's no pixelation as we move up through the, uh, through the magnification. In fact, it's still giving a really clear image there, even on maximum magnification. You can also see the reticle changing as it interacts with the heat. That's just to make sure that you've got that point of contrast. The thing that really stands out with this image is the amount of detail, not just in the animal, but also in the surroundings. So you can clearly see the trees in the background, all the detail in the grass, in the hedge. You're getting a really good understanding of where this animal is in relation to its surroundings, you know, what's behind it. You're not taking a shot into the dark. You, you can see everything, lots of detail and information in the trees. That's coming from Hike Micro Sub 35 Net D sensor. So that's able to pick up a lot of that detail and display it on the screen. It's also coming from Hike's F1.0 lens system, which makes sure that all the available thermal information is hitting that sensor and then able to be displayed into that image. He's off, and we're gonna take a look at a different clip next. So here we've got another fox, similar sort of distance. We're in white hot again, but you can see there's a lot more, there's a lot more uh, sky, there's a lot less detail in this, um, in this image, that animal is really popping out. Um, but we can still see the trees in the background and we can see, see the grass and it's, it is really clear what that animal is. There's no mistaking, that's a fox. You can see the detail in the tail. The fusion image also offers a lot of clarity. You can see it's also on the top of a hill. So you're not gonna be taking a shot here. But you can see the detail in the tree. It's giving you that sense of scale as well. And here we go again, probably a little bit further this time, just cycling through the different colour profiles to give you an idea of how they display. Again, still able to see a lot of the detail in the trees behind, still able to clearly see what that is. So that was our quick look at the Hike Micro Thunder TQ50 Thermal Rifle Scope, which as we've just discovered, you can also use as a clip-on and a monocular. If you've got any questions or you'd like to place an order, please give us a call. Thanks very much for watching.